Here's a way too long and rambling overview and initial review of the VP Force Rhino Force Feedback Stick. First up is the Rhino's configuration software. All right, just gonna quickly go down the settings, master gain, obviously how much force there is through all the forces. Periodic effects are things like shakes, vibrations. Spring force is centering spring, damper, slows down the stick and acts like a steering damper so it doesn't respond too fast. You'll see if I turn the damper off, the stick will bounce. Turn the damper on, setting it. It'll slowly find its center. Inertia makes the stick act heavy. It'll be harder to accelerate it. And when it is at a constant rate, it'll be harder to decelerate it. There. Oh, it has a motion and it wants to keep going. That's inertia. Makes it feel heavier. Friction is a static friction. It'll just make everywhere harder the push. Uh, end stops will shrink the range that it can go. Hardware force trim. Basically, in a helicopter trim, it'll allow you to do it in hardware versus software like the game. Uh, balance spring and static force allows it to resist a heavy stick, so it's always balanced no matter where it's at. Um, this pot function, there's a pot down here that allows you to adjust anything on the fly. It comes factory set to spring gain, so you turn it down. There's no more spring, but you'll still have your damper and whatever settings you have. Increase it. More force. This is emergency stop. Press it, stick goes dead. Twist it, stick comes back alive. That simple. Very quick demonstration on force trim. You have your spring force going back towards the center. Engage force trim release. You'll pick a new center. Let go force trim release. That is your new spring center. When you're holding force trim, you still have damping but no spring force recentering. Let go of force trim in the new center position. That is now your new spring center. This could be done in software as in DCS, or there's a hardware loopback function with the Rhino that allows you to have force trim release in games that don't have native force trim or force feedback like Microsoft Flight Simulator. Rhino also has a DCS telemetry uh, module that converts telemetry from DCS into additional force feedback effects that are not native to DCS, such as I have a small vibration is from the rotor blades You'll have gun vibration. When I fire the gun, it will shake the stick in certain ways. Weapons releases. And ETL shutter. Right there. It will also shutter when entering VRS.
Where is he going? And of course, any time you want to adjust spring force, you could always just reach down and lower it a little bit. Want to raise it? Let's raise it. Shift on the fly, if you will. Don't pull a Russian MIA pilot and hit stationary objects. Gun ready. Oh, that's uh, satisfying. GFX. Shit. Get a. Shakes the more the AOA is. Install shake. Probably a little less force. Pull up, pull up. 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 Some gear effects and flap effects.
Spin it. Well, almost. There we go. Fully developed spin. Recover. Recovered. Altitude, and impact. Altitude. Lean out the side like a lift helicopter. Anyways, a short list of the pros are, it's better than the Bruner, uses nearly any grip that you can attach to it, has a constant telemetry software updates and added effects that are near or can be passing XP Force abilities, except it's free. It's roughly equal in height and throw to the VKB with the long extension. Downsides are, well, it cost a grand. Uh, there's uh, currently a two-year possible wait time, assuming nobody backs out of their slots. It has external belts and pulleys, which can limit how close you can get it to your seat or mounting option. Oh, and not to forget, it's big. As in, massively big. As in, it's big enough to limit how you mount it or where you can mount it. It's not really the side stick type of device. Long story short, if this had existed before I purchased my VKB gunfighter, I would not have purchased my VKB gunfighter. That simple. Yeah, close enough.